In 1940, Britain stood alone against Nazi Germany. The Luftwaffe launched relentless bombing campaigns. Invasion seemed inevitable, yet the British were always ready. When German bombers attacked, the RAF knew exactly where they were coming from. When U-boats hunted convoys, the British knew where to send their ships. It seemed like magic, but it wasn't. Pause. It was mathematics, hidden in a Victorian mansion. The cleverest minds in Britain were breaking the unbreakable German encryption machine called Enigma. The German military believed their Enigma machine was mathematically impossible to crack. Messages encrypted on Enigma were considered completely secure. Every military order, from high command to field troops, was transmitted in Enigma code. If Britain couldn't read these messages, they would lose the war. In 1939, the British established a secret facility called Bletchley Park. Into this mansion came Alan Turing, one of Britain's greatest mathematicians, along with cryptographers, engineers, and linguists. Turing understood that breaking Enigma required more than human calculation. It required a machine. Working with his team, he designed the bomb, an early mechanical computer that could test thousands of Enigma settings in hours. The breakthrough came from understanding Enigma's fundamental weakness. The machine's rotors followed predictable patterns. Certain mathematical properties made the encryption vulnerable, and sometimes German operators made mistakes, reusing indicators, using predictable message formats. By 1941, Bletchley Park was breaking Enigma messages regularly. At its peak, they were decrypting thousands of messages per week. The first major impact came during the Battle of Britain. Reading Luftwaffe communications, British commanders knew exactly which airfields would be attacked and when. They positioned their limited fighters where they mattered most. The Germans couldn't understand why RAF pilots always seemed to be waiting. The answer was Bletchley Park. But the most decisive impact came in the Atlantic. German U-boats were hunting British convoys, supply ships vital to Britain's survival. U-boat commanders used Enigma to coordinate their attacks. Once Bletchley Park began reading these messages, the situation reversed. The British rerouted convoys away from danger. They directed naval vessels to intercept U-boats. The U-boat commanders grew increasingly frustrated. Their secure communications seemed compromised, but they had no idea how. By 1943, the Battle of the Atlantic had turned. Ship losses dropped dramatically. Supplies kept flowing to Britain. Germany's strategy was failing. Later, when planning the D-Day invasion, Bletchley Park provided intelligence on German troop positions, defensive preparations, and supply lines. This decoded intelligence-shaped invasion strategy and contributed to its success. Historians estimate that breaking Enigma shortened World War II by several years and saved millions of lives. The remarkable thing is how secret it remained. Even after Germany surrendered in 1945, the British government kept Bletchley Park classified for 30 years. Many workers never spoke about it publicly. They had signed the Official Secrets Act. It wasn't until 1974 that the public learned the full story. Today, Bletchley Park is a museum. Visitors can see the reconstructed bomb machines and walk through the rooms where Turing and his colleagues worked. What was once the most secret facility in Britain is now a monument to human ingenuity. One group of mathematicians working in secret changed the course of the war through the power of mathematics and early computing. Thank you for watching.